I have seen people, when you go for an interview, people normally talk about, no, I don't like the job. I am looking for a, a full-time office job. Okay. There are various kinds of jobs available, my dear friends. I only will be sanctioning loan. What happens if that loan becomes a bad loan? You are solely responsible. Your life and the career will be at stake. Now operations job. I will have to only look at the operations. If some KYC got gone wrong, you your life screwed up. If it is a, a terrorist opening an account and you are the person approving that, your life gone. <laughs> so every job has got its positive and negative. But do your job properly. I have just listed here various types of job. Why I have mentioned is, when you get an opportunity, get into any of these profiles. But try to understand the other profiles also. Then you become multi-talented. So if, what happens is after three years, if there is a collection officers or collection managers position, you can get into that profile. If there is a relationship manager profile, you can get into it. Okay, if there is an assistant branch manager profile available, you can go there. So once you go, you become an all-rounder, try to learn every skill set possible. Okay, so entry level, getting into the BFSI sector, get into a good organization at the earliest. Now I talked to you about 5 trillion. See, there is a normal curve, normal distribution curve. All of you understand that. The life is also like that. Normal distribution curve is like this. Okay. Now BFSI sector is moving like this. Now the peak will come once we become a 5 trillion economy. Then the downward trend will start. But if you are waiting to become once 5 trillion only, I will become a bank officer. <coughs> then your downward will come. The opportunity will be falling. So get in now because it is in the upward so that you will be able to gain maximum benefit. Now, what are the salary levels? This is, I'm talking about the entry level people, not about experienced people. Don't look at the salary. Now, certain company, if you are already working and if you are doing a good job in the interview, salary is not a problem. Most of the company will be taking care of you if you are a good candidate. Please remember that. Okay. Salary, the negotiation will happen only if you are an average candidate. They don't want to compromise. They don't want to take. Because I also recruited a lot of people. You know, some of them were having less than 60% in their graduation. I can tell you confidently today. In HDFC Bank, 60% was a cutoff. You all know 60% is not a big percentage. But at that point of time, 60 also used to be a very big percentage. But some of them will be having 58 percent. You know, I have fought with the HR and the line managers and got that person included in my team. Why? Because I know that person deserves a job. He is so passionate about working. He wants to excel in life. You know, he is handling one of the regions of HDFC Bank today. He controls close to 80 branches and there are cluster heads. That means they also handle some 10 to 15. So there is nothing like that. Don't look at that. You look at whether I am doing the right thing. I am presenting my case perfectly in front of the interviewer. And I am open for ideas, open for roles. Okay. Most of the banks will be providing bonuses and incentives. So salary is only one item which they will be talking. Okay. Apart from that, most of the bank and financial companies will be providing you almost equal to your salary as performance incentive or bonus. So if you are getting say 20 to 25 salary, you may be getting another 20 to 25 on a monthly basis as the performance incentive also. But if you consistently get you will be getting the 
promotions also within six months to eight months. You know, one of the companies which we are associated, that company provides 25,000 increment every quarter. And their starting salary is 3,25,000. So after three months, it becomes 3,50,000. After six months, it becomes 3,75,000. It goes like that. So there are various options available, but there are certain riders also. You need to be skilled in that particular area. Now, what are the challenges? Most of you, I'm not talking about you, but in basic PFSI sector, they are not able to understand. If you are a normal person, not part of Big C, you will not know how many vacancies are available. Now, let me give you a small example. Three days back, there were six vacancies available in Axis Bank Kuchin for various profiles. Only Big C people know there is a vacancy available and Big C candidates have been given an opportunity. 10 of our 10 or 11 candidates, Ruchi Ma'am has given to them. Now, all of them will be getting an interview opportunity. Do you understand? So, such arrangements or such vacancy, a normal person will not be getting. But as Big C candidates, none of your botheration, we will get you those information you have to be prepared. We will not send you just like that. We will help you to prepare your resume also and to prepare well for the interview call. Now, why that is important? See, looking at you before meeting you, can you make a perception about you? Is that a good perception? Everybody will, will be following a pattern. You will be writing your name. Some of you will be writing your father's name, mother's name. Those are, I am not saying you should not tell about that, but that is irrelevant. If I wanted to recruit you, what is that you are going to project? You you can write something. If my father is uh, Mohan Gar, Mo, Mohan Das Karamjan Gandhi, I will write to write because then they will know this person has some virtues, being uh, Mahatma Gandhi's son. But otherwise, if I write Mr. Balakrishnan, they don't know who is Balakrishnan. You understand? So, what is it that relevant though? about your academics, about your experiences, about your projects, about anything what you have done exceedingly well, whether it's in your academics or extracurricular activities or sports, you are part of any social activity, any clubs, all these are very important, my dear friends, because when you become a BFSI person, as I mentioned to you, they are looking at you as a face of their organization, whether they can project you as their face. So you are ready to talk to people. You are very extrovert in your attitude. You can communicate effectively. Do you have any exposure in managing things? That's why I mentioned you uh, if you are part of any uh, sports uh, clubs or something or you part of a team, hockey team or a football team or a cricket team, etc. That means you are already knowing the team player activity. So once you become a branch team, they will be you will be able to adjust it. So all these are important if you have not done this. Because mostly what I've seen is people will be copying from their uh, siblings CV or their friends CV. They will only change the name. Even they don't change the hobby also. Okay, if they are writing reading book, you also will keep reading books. And interview they will ask which uh, title you read last one in last one month. You don't know. So you know, you are trying to lie something. So we will help you to Frame your CV if at all anything needs to be. We will help you to perform interview. It is not that most of the people are losing because of their academic caliber, not because of their intellectual capacity. In interview within 15 minutes, how beautifully you project yours. Are you projecting your better side? It is not that everybody is 100% perfect. But I will not be talking something which I am bad at. Why should I tell them? 
it is where i need to work because that is my area of improvement even if the interviewer identify that and he is telling your communication is not good then you should be telling yes sir i understand now what i am doing for the past 6 months i understood this that's my area of improvement i started reading english daily on a daily basis sir i started preparing the vocabulary which and the usages i will be reading the self development english books i started listening to videos of great speakers so that i can improve my vocabulary as well as the public speaking so the interviewer will definitely understand this person has a slight disadvantage now but he or she has identified their problem identified the uh, solution and started working on it that is what an interviewer will be looking for now none of them will be taking you because you know everything about banking because you have the learning capability that is why you wanted to upskill in big c so they know they understand they wanted to learn something so once you join the organization if they introduce a new product also this person will be able to understand and take it for very important you exhibit all this during your interview period okay this i have just mentioned to you this is regarding the interview as i mentioned to you project to yourself as if you are this is your final day in life and you wanted to show you are the best to the world you should be communicating effectively that doesn't mean that you should be talking in british accent no you should be able to convey the message and ideas what you wanted to tell them in a broken english is also fine whether you are conveying the correct message your grooming standards whenever you go for an interview whether it is your friend or your friend's father that means you will be calling him as uncle okay you may be meeting him for an interview even then go there in a proper attire even if you are 100% 200% sure big c has given you an opportunity you just show your face you will get your job even then don't take it lightly go there in a professional manner because nothing is guaranteed here unless and until you get your offer letter so don't take it okay listen to whoever is talking properly not only in the interview even your job also none of them will be interested to talk to you if you are not bothering to listen to them carefully that is a basic etiquette even if your parents are talking to you brothers are talking to you neighbors are talking to you listen to them that gives respect and the bfsi sector if you are a good employee you should respect the other person's time other person's initiative see he has come taken the pains come to your office listen to them carefully if somebody is talking to you listen to them carefully okay and you always be ready with the questions some of you as i mentioned to you because if you are copied the resume if they ask you question you will not be able to tell okay you must have copied unknowingly it would have come i was the school captain but not you your sister would have been the school captain because you copied that also ha ah, so tell me something about the school captain what you were doing so oh, actually i am not the captain it's my sister okay then you will start goofing up so understand your resume well so that the questions can be or your answers can be revolving around this items willing us to do any kind of job that doesn't mean that they are going to put you in the pune's job are you getting my point if somebody is telling yeah so what kind of job you wanted sir i am looking for an office job oh very good so in office job sir i will come only 10 o'clock i can work only 5 o'clock because i don't want my parents have told you should reach home before 6 o'clock okay very good then what sir i need somebody to carry the files i can't carry files oh okay so i will keep one or two people supporting you 
sir i wanted my salary to be credited 30x and that should be not less than 40000 rupees now just imagine are you going for a job there or they are finding a most appropriate person in you most of the interview even though i put a little bit sarcasm here most of the interview like this and you can after telling so much you are only avoiding that organization in giving you an offer letter or you are making yourself a rejectable candidate asking is their job they are asking not to take inputs from you they are all decided and i am openly telling you i have done this most of my time you know i will be able to take the inner idea very very clearly if somebody will say they, they will come very pre much prepared they will say so what kind of sir i am ready for sales okay very good but we have only one vacancy that is operations we don't have a sales job available would you be interested are sir then give me that i wanted operations so what does it mean the person is looking for operations he is not looking for sales he just wanted to get the brownie point from the interviewer the interviewer we will be able to understand it better but a smart person will say but even then i will be looking for a sales job but if that is not available whatever you give me sir i will accept as if i am not interested in the operation you know i will be putting everything to the interviewer to decide the job is not in bangalore it is in hosur no problem sir there are a lot of other people also working there no and that's a new area which i think i will be able to explore more there so you are only showing your positive side there. if you say no i am not interested that time itself you are getting rejected so never ever give a chance for them to reject you now i understand if you don't want to go to say west bengal you can say that sir i am open for anywhere in south or i am open in my state sir or i am open in my state or the nearby state you can be don't say that i only look forward to 1 km radius of my house i wanted a job they can't manufacture a job and give it to you okay be very clear but be open in your own way the best part is now you all learned everything from big c the initial days that doesn't mean that you will be able to do a human work the no there will be still things you need to understand you need to comprehend you probably will not be able to break it a complex item that is where we are providing you two month mentorship you sit my dear friends effective we are not fools we have handled all this in our past career so call your trainers and tell today there is an incident man i am not telling you you call immediately when the customer is sitting but end of the day such a thing happened what happened what what should have what should be the right way of approaching this and if they are saying yeah you should have done it in this way so what can i do man anyway that was a mistake happened why don't we just call now or send a message to the customer sir is it right time to talk i wanted to apologize the way i treated you today i should have answered in this manner you know that is the best way of handling customer but sometimes you will not be able to understand your trainer will be able to guide you properly please understand as a company i don't know whether you people have understood this we are not doing this just for making money then we should have asked everybody of you to pay your full fee and keeping you in a complete question mark we have given you enough and more and we are not please understand this particular day session is also not part of your course why are we doing this we have taken this as a yagna you know you may not get everything yourself but end of the day we will get a lot of satisfaction at least all of you now 16 17 people have joined 20 people have joined today a part of it if you start demonstrating in your own way and you start getting your personal benefit we will be very happy even if you are not talking to your trainers and telling yeah this part of 
Bixi has actually helped me. Or when I am doing, madam, uh, the role play, what you have put it up on that particular day, actually helped me. Okay, or this particular assignment was very useful to me. Very good. Even if you are not telling us also, in your mind, if you are feeling in any way it is beneficial to you, we are very happy. But use it effectively. That is what I am saying. Always try all these aspects to learn. Every customer will be a learning opportunity. Every aspect you learn about the financial sector is a learning opportunity. Every time you interact with the external sources like Big C, speak to the trainer and ask. Don't use it for gossiping. Use it for something to learn. Okay? When you start performing, that kick will give you the upward movement very, very fast. Now, just to give you some, all of you may be knowing, now we are part of a bigger network like even though we started up started as a startup company in india now we are a training partner with one of india's bfsi sector skill council okay we are also part of karnataka government skill development corporation okay just to give you a small brief about what we do now we are a training partner and a hdd partner with most of the banks or dhd partner whether it is new gen bank or a PSU bank, or a small finance bank, or MNC bank, or old private sector bank, or even the NBFC also, whether it is HDFC, PNB, Manapuram, Sher Khan, Motilal, JM Finance, most of these companies we have association. Okay, so that's the reason I'm saying, even if you join somewhere, there will be opportunity coming elsewhere also. But keep that association very, very strong. Try to talk to your Big C uh, partners every now and then whenever they call you try to take up the call so something like this if they have not picked up the 11 people have not picked up the call they probably will not be getting an opportunity in access coaching now Bangalore we are going to come up with something very soon so if people are interested either to come to Bangalore or already in Bangalore if they don't pick up the call they will lose an opportunity that is not for only one person you know, yesterday one of our candidates has joined HDFC Bank. You know, uh, you must have seen his ad also, Revi Odaya. He's already one, uh, this thing, a feedback session is already there live. He was not talking about HDFC Bank. He used to be with some other bank. Now he got an elevated opportunity. That's why he was interacting directly with the trainers. He got an opportunity. Now he moved to HDFC Bank. Tomorrow, after two years, he may be going as a branch manager in uh, Intercent Bank also. So, I what I wanted you to do is think this as a lifelong partnership. Okay. Yesterday, we have given one of the company. He is joining there as a chief risk officer. Please understand, he is controlling the entire risk for the NDFC company. So you all will have various opportunity. Those names will not come immediately. We have taken so much pain in the last five years. When we started also, we were only having one bank or two banks to know name. Now today the list is growing. Now there are seven or eight companies in the annual for signing up with Big C. So use it effectively. Before I end, I want to convey the message to all of you. We are taking this very, very seriously, okay? I wanted each of you to take your career very, very seriously. Whatever is coming in your way, accept it with full hands, both your hands, okay? Even if you wanted to get a change, there will be opportunities coming in. We can help you because we are not going to stop once you get a job and you pay your fee. We will not stop. After six months, you are getting another opportunity and if you wanted to join the we will give you because you are an alumni of big c that's what we always think and action that's all from my side